2018 Chevrolet Tahoe Rest Quick Spin Review, finally, a 6.2-liter Tahoe. It took briefly, yet GMC and Cadillac Celite on the 420 strength truck engine is finished. Accessible just in the new Tahoe RST and supported by a 10-speed programmed, the 6.2-liter V8 makes this the quickest Tahoe ever, with Chevy asserting 060 of every 5.7 seconds. That being stated, the tires are useful for just 130 miles per hour and the limiter is lower than that, so regardless you can't beat a 5.3 fuel PPV. The Rally Street Truck Bundle for the Tahoe or Suburban is just a beauty care products package, including haggles, with power routage and shading coordinated trim supplanting chrome, new grille and identifications, and Lorelin's HLP285-45R22110H tires on the extraordinary wheels. We like the unpretentious enhancements, which aren't spent, yet to every her own. The RST bundle is accessible on 2WD or 4WD models, and none of the mechanical alternatives influence the tow evaluations, which are more prominent than 8,000 pounds. Optional on the Tahoe but not the Suburban is the 6.2-liter engine package. For a reasonable $2,800, it adds the 420-horsepower engine with 460 pound-feet of torque, the 10-speed automatic. 3.23 to 1 gears, integrated trailer brake control, 2-speed active transfer case on 4WD, big alternator, and most important, magnetic ride control damping with a performance tilt. You can also get Brembo supplied 16.1-inch front brakes with 6-piston calipers for $2,795, which are also offered on the 2018 Yukon Denali. And a Borla exhaust Chevy says add 7 to 2010 rear wheel horsepower and 28% more flow. At certain throttle settings it adds about 28% more noise, too. Hammer the gas and the 6.2 bellows, launching the Tahoe forward with barely a chirp, in 2WD. The sub 6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time feels entirely plausible. But when at that magic number we wondered what will I do with the other 8 gears. It's conceivable you can use any of 7 gears at most road speeds, and the shifts are quick and clean regardless how many intervals are skipped, so the nominal 1500 revs between peak horsepower and peak torque are largely irrelevant. EPA city ratings drop by 2 from the 5.3 but highway numbers are identical and ours showed 21 against EPA's 22 estimate. Our ears still find the 5.3 a mechanically sweeter, more refined sound, but at these cruising revs it's more likely audiophiles will detect V4 operation instead of raw sonority. The Borla exhaust sounds authoritative at moderate to wide throttle application before settling into background noise. Though it should be noted our rear seat passenger announced unprompted that after 45 minutes he tire of it. You might, too, towing a trailer up a long grade, 